Livia is fearless. I mean, she'll pick up the phone to anybody. And, and the wonderful thing about Livia, it's very personal to her. She doesn't stop. I mean, if you say no, she asks again. If you say no, she asks again. I admire that. Livia is like one ginormous PowerPoint of electricity. If there was ever a giant radiator of fabulousness, it's Livia. The thing that changed my life completely was a travel to Bangladesh with Oxfam. To meet the garment workers and hearing the stories of, of these women and actually visiting a factory, it opened my eyes to a completely different world. The way that we have been buying, selling and producing clothes over the last 30 years has gone out of control. As women, we are not connected anymore to what we wear. The fashion supply chain is full of abuses. We employ millions of people around the world, but they are enslaved. I wonder whether in a few years' time we look back on these periods and thinking, is this the new slave trade? And it doesn't have to be like that. We knew that glamour and ethics could coexist. We just needed to prove it. I think that the uh, Green Carpet Challenge, uh, invented by uh, Livia Firth, is a fantastic idea. It brings together a global um, issue into popular culture. I think that she's able to reach designers on a level that you know, other people couldn't. The last two years of the Green Carpet Challenge have, have been incredible. To have Viola Davis walking the BAFTA red carpet in a stunning recycled plastic bottle dress by Valentino, our heart were palpitating. Meryl Streep with the gold dress by Lan Van, winning an Oscar with the Green Carpet Challenge to come. That was incredible. Cameron Diaz doing the Met Ball with Stella McCartney sparkly dress was amazing. There are two sides to the Green Carpet Challenge. The first side is the glitzy side. It's the glamour, it's the Oscars. The second side is an alternative business case. We also work behind the scenes on supply chain, trying to really change some of those intractable problems with different material groups and really lead the way in how materials are sourced in the future. Every fabric, every piece that you wear is made by someone. It must be sustainability, who must have a quality in the ecological. And I think it's time to change. This is all about potential. If we change the way that we consume cotton, for example, we will lift 10 million cotton farmers out of poverty. She's driven by a cause that she believes in. She's driven to create ethical fashion. Howard Zinn said it beautifully when he said that democracy is not a spectator sport. I don't want to be a spectator in my life of anything. When you are in control, it means you can take responsibility. Livia, I am so proud of you. No one could be more proud. Not even your mama or your husband or your children. <laughs>